Good morning, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. We're going to tie ourselves a little Pro Tube Clouser. Um, I guess it's a Clouser. You could call it a, a Needle Fly as well if you are in the UK. Anyway, we're going to adapt it to this. Uh, I've got my needle in the vise already. I'm going to go ahead and slide on a 4040 Pro Tube and then a uh, 25 millimeter or the large silver flexi tube that just seats on there really nicely and then I'm using uh, for the thread I'm using the uni mono because we're going to paint or coating the head in clear goo we don't want to see any white thread underneath there the first thing I'm going to add is some pearl flashaboo we're going to do the belly first of this fly it really doesn't matter which way you go very sparse fly so we're only going to use one strand or two if you feel like it fold it back white bucktail bucktail um, when you're choosing bucktail try to find the finer stuff that doesn't have a lot of um, thick base to it the finer stuff is going to sink a little better and it's not going to flare as much is that out toward the tip of the bucktail or where is where do you find it uh, when you look at the base um, when you look at a tail like here you can see how um, thick the bases are in this when you squeeze this material it's going to flare if you come up in the tip here this is finer hair mm -hmm. and it won't flare as much it's a little denser so I'm just going to pull hairs out until I get it down to the amount of strands I want. Now when you tie this in, do not tie it up against the flexi tube. That will cause it to flare as well. Tie it so it's just away from it a bit. And this will lay down there. Okay. Now we're going to do the back. And I want to use a little chartreuse crystal flash. Excuse me, I have a cold and you're going to hear me sniffing and snorting here a little bit this morning. Just fold that back. That way it doesn't pull as well. I mean, when you double it back like that, it just stays in place. Again, we're going to use a little chartreuse bucktail from Hairline here. Super, super sparse on the top. Trying to get my measurements down here a little bit. Okay. I've got some crystal flash hanging out the back. I'll just go ahead and trim that up real quick. Okay. Now this fly um, is kind of an adaption from uh, what they call a needle fly in the UK, and it was really originally tied on a needle. Um, very sparse. They do them now on stainless tubes and such, um, but the Pro Tube works very, very well for this. And you can, on the body itself, you can use the Flexi Tube for weight um, or not, and just use a flat diamond braid silver for that. So now I've got a little black bucktail. And it's sparse again too. I'm talking just strands here, not, not a lot. That's essentially the tying component of this fly, not, not real complex. The key comes in to making sure that you keep these materials so they lay back onto that tube and keep it nice and sleek like that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we've got clear goo. They've got a, a, a series of eyes and these eyes are pretty awesome. Um, there's two different colors I've got here that I like. You can use any color. There's an agate and a peacock. I'm going to use the agate. These are done by late with lasers, and uh, they're just ultra realistic. And I'm just going to take these and stick them on here. If they don't want to stay, which can happen, um, all you have to do is just put a little drop. I mean, just the smallest amount of zappa gap 
on there. Now I've not had any problems with these, but some of the adhesive eyes will tend to fall. So I've got that set. Okay. Make sure everything's lined up. All right. Now I need my zap or my uh, clear goo, and I'm going to start with just a little bit of thick. putting a little bit between the eyes top and bottom okay and this just makes sure I get those eyes secured and I'm gonna pull the hair back and I'm just filling that space up to the edge of the eye okay I'm gonna pull this hair back zap it see how it pulled that hair and kept it in place now we got it right against the tube I'm going to take some more and finish the head now with this thick. So Chinook Salmon, Sea Run Cutthroat. Bait fish pattern of any color. Um, I mean this fly will do it all if you want to use it for crashing a streamer against the uh, banks in Montana. Um, you could do that. It's kind of an all-purpose pattern. It might make kind of a cool owl wire or alvin yeah. pattern. Um, yeah, for, and kind of fleshy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Minnow. Yep. So we've got the that all coated up. Looks good. Make sure I've got good coverage. Again, make sure my hair is pulled back where I want it. Hit it with the light. Can you see the... Uh, the chartreuse and the white in there with the UV light and then just a little bit of black in it just a really good color combination okay so now I've got that on there and that is with the um, the thick I'm going to come back in with my brush of um, hydro because it's uh, there's still a little bit of tack to that material and I don't want it to sticky so I'll just take uh, a light coat of the hydro about the yellowing like we do used to with the epoxies and stuff <clears throat> and you can see on these clear goo eyes um, they just really come through so there you go there's a little uh, pro tube clouser you could call it you could call it a, a needle fly flies done now I need to do is just trim this I'm gonna come in with a razor blade and come straight down and I have that all trimmed up. I wouldn't heat that to roll it back. I mean, the clear goo's not going to move. 